John Burke here for the Martial Art World with Sifu Pedro Sapero, who is the 1991 International Southern Kung Fu Champion, right? Yes, thank Okay, you. I got that one out. Okay. Now, you have a, a wonderful Hunga school out here in New Jersey. Tell us where the school is located. The school is located in Clifton, New Jersey, and it's at 68 Union Avenue, right at the corner of Main and Union Avenues, behind Dunkin' Donuts. Now, we've watched a wide variety of um, different classes here and different types of techniques being taught. Maybe you can tell us a little something about those juniors that we saw earlier. Okay. The juniors range in age from 6 to 11 years old. Uh, what the juniors are taught are basic stances and punches in the system, basic hand forms and uh, body conditioning techniques. Okay. We also teach the children uh, self-defense concepts, uh, discipline, and we teach them how to uh, gear themselves up better in life for school and, and the things that are happening at home and uh, try to get them used to this kind of urban jungle we have out here. A lot of parents are worried about teaching kids martial arts if they don't run around the house kicking and breaking things. But I, I find that that is the opposite, that when children get real martial arts training, they tend to be more settled and a little, a little more discipline-oriented, and they're less likely to use those types of martial art techniques in the, in the house, on the furniture, and their friends, <laughs> and so on. What, what's your take on that, Sifu? Well, the discipline that's taught here will enable the child to calm down if you have a hyperactive child. Uh, the training, the forms training, stance training especially, uh, teaches a person to develop his willpower to withstand certain things. Uh, a lot of the children, uh, if they are hyperactive, uh, the training tends to relax them, calm them down. And when they're at home, uh, life is easier and they get to bed earlier, definitely. A lot of people don't know the difference between, say, Kung Fu and Karate and Taekwondo. Well, give us what, what are some of the main differences between what you teach and might be seen in a karate school. Okay. Um, within the karate styles, usually uh, they work on a force against force concept. Within the Kung Fu styles, we do more angular fighting. Okay. Uh, the mentality is to develop the total person. We develop uh, meditation, philosophy, children learn. Uh, how to make their bodies very strong. We don't emphasize uh, practices like jumping jacks and things like that. That's uh, school, school games, we call that. Uh, the exact martial art in Kung Fu trains the whole body by itself. So you don't need to uh, go through squat thrusts and American exercises like that. Hunga, or specifically Yi's Hunga. What is, what is Hunga? What does that mean? Okay, Hunga, or Hung Family Fist, is a Southern Shaolin style. It's a very old style. Uh, Southern Sh uh, Shaolin means that uh, we have a very strong emphasis on hand techniques. Not to say that we don't have kicking techniques, but most of our kicking techniques are low and include sweeping. We do include ground fighting, uh, but we teach the five animals, the tiger, the dragon, leopard, snake, and crane, and also the five elements. And we teach uh, at the advanced stages how to combine these two in uh, practical application. Could you tell us a little about the beginning classes, the beginning training that a person would uh, come in contact with when they join the school? Well, during their first uh, six to eight weeks of training, they're learning the basic stances and punches. Uh, and it's all about getting your body in shape. We do that through the use of drills and animal drills, which work on uh, the body. We also have dynamic tension drills, which work to strengthen the upper body. And the stance training takes care of the lower body. And when we have contact, uh, things such as Tasam Singh, which is three-star blocking, conditions the arms. And the conditioning that you do, of course, we, many of us fans of the kung fu movies, the guys digging into the, you know, big vats of burning right. sand and gravel and stuff. Do you do, well, of course, more modern versions of that? Uh, well, we do do uh, what we call the indirect method of iron palm training or iron arm conditioning, which is done on sandbags, and we work our way up to gravel and to iron fillings. Okay, at that point, those are conditioning for the hands and the forearms and the elbows. Uh, on two-man exercises, we bang the arms together, and we also bang the shins together to work the legs. Now, of course, in intermediate levels in Kung Fu, we start to see the introduction of the weapons and the weapons training and stuff. Tell us right. some of the different ancient weapons or traditional Kung Fu right. weapons that you train in. Okay, we, uh, the first weapon that's taught here is the Dando, or the broadsword. Okay, that is uh, the most basic weapon, and it teaches uh, all the short-range uh, movements or the short weapon movements. Okay, after that, they move on to the pole or the guan, which is a staff. Uh, at that point, uh, they're learning uh, all the basic movements for long weapons. Uh, from there, we also teach the Wudip Do, or the butterfly swords. We teach the Kwan Do, which is a Kwan's knife, general Kwan's knife. We also teach the spear and the tiger fork. And uh, we also have a fan set 
uh, which is a beef bone fan. It's not part of the traditional system, but uh, our great uh, grandmaster, Dang Fung, it was something that he put together. And it was rarely demonstrated, but we do teach that also. In, uh, in the tri-state area, at least, where we have our program, there's not a tremendous amount of full contact kung fu um, people training. But I understand in Hanga, certainly from your schools, yes. there are a number of champions and, and apt kung fu fighters. What do you, how do you stress that uh, full contact training, and that, which also translates, obviously, to self-defense? Self right. Uh, it's, it's very important. Uh, a lot of schools concentrate on forms practice. Uh, and forms practice alone does not constitute fighting ability. Okay, what happens is you train forms, your forms become your dictionary of fighting techniques. But you have to break apart that form uh, and put together certain combinations. And when you put together those combinations, you practice them in drills. After they're practiced in drills, you work them with a partner, and then you begin your free fighting or free sparring. Uh, it's important in the beginning stages to start out with light contact. After you develop uh, some kind of skill at that point, then we can move into the full contact. We uh, have produced a championship full contact team in 1993. Uh, so, you know, it will lead eventually to full contact if that's your forte. Sifu Sepera, could you tell us again where the school is located and how people can get in touch with you, especially if they want to train in Hunga Kung Fu? Okay. Again, we are a traditional Kung Fu school, so we do have very uh, strict training regimen. Uh, so the school is located in Clifton, New Jersey, which is at 68 Union Avenue. Uh, that's right on the corner of Union and the Main Avenues behind the Dunkin' Donuts on the second floor. Uh, we will be expanding uh, to the first floor within a couple of months. The phone number is 201-772-8988. The school is open every day from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., Monday through Friday. And on Saturday, the school is open from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m.